everyone. In this video, we are going to review how to build and send out a text message campaign using the outreach feature in your TrueLark Business Dashboard. Once you've logged into your TrueLark Business Dashboard, click on the Outreach tab on the left-hand side. From this page, we can begin to build our new campaign. Simply click on Add New Campaign on the top right-hand side of the screen and give your campaign a name. For this example, I'm going to name mine 50% Loyal. Click Next. On this page, you can begin to build the content of your message and also upload the list of recipients you're going to send the campaign to. In the content of your message, we highly recommend that you include the business name and a call to action. In this example, we are giving 50% off to our loyal customers, so we give them a code and a number that they can call to book to redeem the 50% off offer. We will also follow up every campaign message with an opt-out message, reply stop to opt-out. Any customers who reply stop to a text message campaign will no longer receive text messages from future campaigns. It's also important to note that your TrueLark Outreach text-only number is different from the text-only number that customers receive text messages from when they call into the business and that call is routed to TrueLark. So if a customer opts out of text messages from your outreach campaigns, that does not mean that they will no longer receive text messages when they call into your business and that call is routed to TrueLark. You have 140 characters to create your message, so make sure you Keep it short, but engaging. And remember, always include your business name and a call to action, since this is a one-way text message and they want to know who the text message is coming from. Next, you'll want to upload your list of recipients. As you can see, we don't have any contacts yet, so we're going to add some people. It's important that we always upload a CSV file, as that is the format the file needs to be in order for the recipients to receive the message. In this example, I have made my list on Google Docs. As you can see, both of my columns have titles, name, and phone. Again, this is also very important. Please make sure that your file includes titles for the columns, name, and phone. Once I have my list compiled, I'm going to download it as a CSV file. In Google Docs, you would click File, Download, and choose the comma-separated values, or commonly known as CSV. Again, very important that the file format is CSV, as that is the format it needs to be in order for customers to receive the text message. Once I've downloaded my list of recipients, I'm going to go back to TrueLark and click on Import a CSV file. On this page, I can either drag and drop a CSV file or I can select it from my list of downloads. I now know that my list of recipients was uploaded successfully because I've received this green circle icon with the check mark in the middle. If you accidentally upload the incorrect list of recipients, simply click on remove and upload the, the correct recipient list. You also want to make sure that you check off the box that states that you agree that all contents, all contacts in this import are expecting to hear from your business and that you have a prior relationship with these contacts and they have opted into receiving communication via text message. Go ahead and click Next, and this is where you can review your list of contacts. Once you've reviewed your list, go ahead and click Finish. This page will give you the option again to review the content of your text message and the list of recipients that you've uploaded. If you want to change the content of your message, you can do so now. I highly recommend that you include 
the name of the business, and a call to action. If you need to upload a different list of recipients, you can also do that here. Go ahead and click Send. On this page, you can watch as the outreach sends your text message campaign. Once your messages have been sent, it will let you know how many were sent during that campaign. You have 1,000 messages to send per month, and you can keep track of how many you've sent right here at the top. If you ever want to review the details of any campaign that you've sent, simply click on the three dots over here on the right and click on Download Report. This will open up the report where you can review the details of the campaign, such as the date you sent it and the text message that was created, and if any of your customers have opted out of receiving future text messages. Thank you for watching the video and we hope that you found it very informative.